Day of remembrance for those who have served and died for our country. As David Winter shows us, one way people are showing their reverence is through 24 notes played simultaneously by thousands of people. It is called Taps Across America. It begins at exactly 3 p.m. Eastern, all across the country, with instrument in hand, a moment of silence, or this year a moment of cicada, to honor those who fought and died for our country. Then in unison, they lift their instruments and begin to play. As Tim Kennedy plays on his driveway in Cold Spring, Kentucky, he thinks about a friend he lost from his youth. I had a, a, a young man who was in high school with me who left early to sign up for the Army in Vietnam. And before his helicopter, you know, came down on uh, Vietnamese land, he was killed. Stephen Bow plays by Loveland, Ohio's World War II monument, thinking about a relative who gave his life for our freedom. My dad's cousin, um, Harold Allensworth, um, he was a sergeant in the Army Air Corps in World War II. And uh, he, he lost his life on, uh, on 6 June 1944 on D-Day. And Tim and Stephen are not alone. Taps Across America is well represented across the tri-state. You can see every one of these blue dots is someone who has registered to play this afternoon. And it has spread worldwide since it began a year ago. Started by a man named Yari Villanueva and CBS's Steve Hartman. To stand on their porch and play those notes, we get a sense of doing something that's greater than ourselves. It's something that is going to be heard all over the United States. We spoke to Yari via Zoom right after he played this afternoon. On this day of all days, it's a chance for us as Americans to remember those who served in uniform. And of course, as Abraham Lincoln put it, gave the last full measure of devotion. David Winter, Local 12 News.